So every, every time we kind of start talking a little bit about the overall influence of social media marketing and how it's really changed the entire landscape of what's going on, and I think that's just going to continue to happen over and over and over again. And now what's funny is, is, is everybody's kind of saying, wow, yeah, it's changed. And more and more, I think in the last 60 days, more people have asked me, what do you think's next? You know, because I think we're all getting used to, and, and this is nice. Our, our nature as human beings is probably to resist change a little bit. You know, we, we get in a routine and we do this and we get it together and then we, you know, we get comfortable and that, that's kind of a nice feeling. That's probably some innate behavior in human beings where we wanted our cave to be our cave and our food to be over here and this berry tree to be over here. And so change is not probably something that's in human nature. And now what's happened is everybody's getting used to saying, oh my gosh, yes, the world's going to change. And, and what really can make businesses successful going forward is saying, the world's going to change. Oh my gosh, I'm going to embrace this and I want to get ahead of it. Right? And so with people starting to ask now, what do you think's next? I'd like to have a little bit of a dialogue about that. What do you guys think's next? Mobile marketing and QR codes. Just giving people the ability to put a tag on a billboard or a card yeah. and pop to their, either their ad page or their landing page, recognizing it's capturing that marketing moment. So I think that's, it's evolving, but I think it's something to look out for. So very neat. Yeah, so mobile, uh, you know, for sure mobile. Any other ideas? When you go on and you type your stuff into Google uh, or whatever search engine you use, the obligation on the part of the provider is going to be not only to tell you, here's the website, but... Here's some people to whom you're connected that you know via who you're connected by internet, social media, who have used this product and have been moved to comment. I see things like Hulu and some of those actual video online sort of things turning into more of a social platform. More people creating profiles and things. We were talking about that the other day, how uh, how dating's changed, right? You you go out and you meet somebody, and and now the first thing I think that people would do is they'd go to somebody's Facebook page. And they'd say, okay, yeah, what are they into? What do they do? Where are they hooked up? What kind of things are they... It used to probably take months, <laughs> right? You know, and, and then you wouldn't even be sure, right? Uh, but, you know, months to get to know somebody and on and on and on and on. And now you can pretty much, oh, what's your name? Yeah, look them up on Facebook. Here's everything about them. Here's the friends that they have. Here's the activities they participate in. Here's the, the things that they write about and what they care about. And the whole deal is sitting right there. And we took it a step further and said, well, why wouldn't it be like hotels, right? Where you, where you say, should I go stay at this hotel? There's ratings, you know. Why wouldn't there be, a, why wouldn't there be hey, here's everybody this person's ever dated before and what they have to say about it, right? I mean, so... <laughs> So, so why wouldn't that exist if it's a world where all the information is public and everybody has the ability to say anything they want about anybody? It's going to be very interesting. So from a business standpoint, some of the things that have, uh, that have definitely changed is control of the message. Businesses are losing control of their message. It's got to be a message that's co-created with your customers and with the community at large and, and no longer is it going to be something you push out there to people. Uh, building of tribes and communities. I need to engage people around my brand as opposed to pushing ads at them. I need to figure out how can I get them to, to, to care about what I have to say and to make their lives better so that they'll say good things about me out there in the world. Complete brand transparency is very important. Uh, new renaissance in communication. All bets are off. We have access to everything right here on our cell phone, and we, we can do these things. Multiple different channels. I can't reach people anymore through a single channel. I need to, be, I need to put my information out there across the board. On demand, on demand is key. Quite a few people. That's fascinating, isn't it? Hey, I'm going here. I'm, I, I was in, uh, where was I? Glenwood Springs a few weeks ago. And I was going to check in that I was going to this, this place. And then the next night I was going to check in. I was going to this place. And I was like, wow, I'm pretty much just telling everybody I'm out of town. <laughs> right? If I get robbed, this is so my fault <laughs> that it's unbelievable. I'm pushing this thing out there to the world that says, I'm gone. You know, uh, so that, that's an interesting dynamic. Um, 
The need for businesses to create media, businesses need to be creating media, and that is a really hard thing to do on a consistent basis. You know, we, we do things every day, but it's a whole other mindset to say, you know what, every time I do something good, or every time I participate at something, or every time I've got something that people might be interested in, I am going to take the deliberate time to create media around that. that that's fascinating. And then something that, that's important to our topic today is immediate feedback on your brand's engagement. And we talked about this a little bit last time, and we're going to talk a lot about it today. But how do you know if your message is being successful? How do you know if all this effort that you're putting forth is generating results? And, and probably the, the best indicator is, is listening to what's taking place out there. If you are generating content and nobody is commenting on it, participating with it, absorbing it, or rewriting about it, that's probably not very effective. And you probably ought to explore, you know, am I creating the right thing? Am I going about this correctly? Am I sending out content that people are interested in and that they, and that they like to receive? And so maybe, maybe during our discussion today, we'll kind of talk about that. What is the best type of content to generate that more that people want to interact with? And maybe that's very business specific, but I'd like to ask a lot of people who are doing this successfully here today and say, is there any common thread? You know, gosh, maybe there's two or three different content types that people can create that people go, oh, that always works. And we could focus on those first, right? Um,